Okay guys, in today's video, we are gonna be talking about my personal color grading workflow with this clip that I got from Saturday, shooting this beautiful white 993 Porsche. Let's get into it. So to start the color grade, we are going to take this clip of this beautiful white 993-911 that I shot this Saturday up in North Salt Lake. Let's run the clip back real quick. Okay, that's the clip that we got. First, we're gonna start out with node structure. We're gonna use Alt-S to add five serial nodes. And then I like to take three through five, move them over, and then use Alt-P to add three more parallel nodes. Okay, now that we've named them, we have our denoise node right here, our exposure, contrast, saturation, balance, which is like your temperature, your tint. I use shadows and highlights and stuff there. And then you have curves slash color, which we'll use in these two tabs right here. And then glow, which is just the effect over here. And then our color space transform. So let's talk about what I do first, personally. I like to do color space transform first, so I'll drag drop that. Throw. I shoot on Sony, so I use SGAMU 3 cine to S-Log, and then Rec 709, output color space, and depending on how dark the light footage is, I will use any of these gammas right here. Now that we have our color space transform, taking it from S-Log to that rec, we will look at these four nodes right here. First, we have exposure. I like to do my exposure in, just in the uh, HDR wheels. Play with it until I get it kind of where I want it. Then we do contrast. I like to do that in the log wheels. I don't go crazy with contrast because I'm not trying to have it look like it's deep fried, you know? That's gonna be good for now. We'll do a little bit more with the, that and the curves and colors tab. Saturation. I like to look at my vector scopes in the bottom down here for saturation. Kind of blow them up a little bit and give me a little bit more of what I want. Right now, since I shot this in the morning, my white balance was a little bit blue. It's heavily skewed towards the blue down here. And we go to the balance. This is where we mess with our temperature and we really use our vector scopes. But that's probably the one that makes the biggest difference in this color balance section is what I call the balance, but basically just getting your colors accurate. So this is more what it looked like on the day rather than what it looked like coming out of the camera like that. So next we'll talk about our curves and color. Here, I like to go into these this custom curves tab. We'll use that. We'll also use Huber's saturation, Huber's luminance a tiny bit, maybe Huber's hue depending on how the colors turn out. So first, I like to go here, drop a point for the shadows, a point for the highlights, and then a point for my mids. So here you can really tell how big of a change that makes. Huber's saturation is my biggest one. Throw down all of your points for your colors. Uh, since it's fall time, lots of red, orange, and yellow, I definitely want the saturation of those colors a little bit higher than my greens and blues. And then Huber's luminance. Also gonna drop down all of my points. And that's kind of where I want it to be. So now let's look at this color slice. This basically takes a section of your colored pie, is what I like to call it, because that's what it looks like. And you can mess with the, uh, you can kind of tell here on the lines, you can mess with the hue and then the saturation of it. That basically gets you from this after your balance, boom, into your colors, making it look a lot more vibrant, a lot more appealing to the eyes. And then you go glow right here, throw that on there. That's a lot, I don't want that much, so I'll turn my spread down, maybe like right there. Okay, let's, let's look at this clip. Let's watch the clip back. This is what it looked like before we got done. Do there, do there. 
is what it looked like after. Awesome. That's what we like to see. That is a great transformation and I could not be happier with that. Now that I've showed you guys my color grading process on this one clip, obviously it depends on the clip. I like to do it certain ways with certain cars. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Drop a like and follow. Uh, like and subscribe. I guess this is YouTube, not Instagram. And yeah, let me know what you thought of the video. If you want to see more of this, let me know. And until next time, peace.